does Siege need a better reporting system for things like salt and griefing? Hey, what's up guys, Irish Tell here, and in today's video, I want to try and explore that topic of does Siege need a better reporting system that they could add in to sort of help the community out a little bit. Now basically, this comes about because very recently I've noticed when playing Siege, there has been a lot more salt being thrown around when you play games than there ever used to have been. It's like, it's almost like when I talked about toxicity ages ago on my channel, it's like that, but it's gotten worse. And instead of dealing with it, Ubisoft have kind of just ignored it and glossed over it and gone, well, you know, like, there's these kind of players, but there's not a lot we're going to do about them at the minute. And they've kind of just left these players to stew and increase their number and get worse. And I think Ubisoft needs to look into really heavily fixing this and adding in a better report system. Now currently, as you may know, Siege has the report system for report suspicious behavior. Basically, when, when you read that, what that implies to you is that when you push that, you are reporting somebody for dodgy sort of things. So shooting through walls, maybe having wall hacks, aimbot, those sorts of things. That's basically what report suspicious behavior implies. However, that button actually also covers things like if somebody's being abusive or racist in chat, if you report them, you can hit the report suspicious behavior button because if enough people do that, a person, an actual physical Ubisoft employee, will look at that player and assess what they've been doing. Now, the thing is with that system is that it doesn't necessarily mean that this player is going to get picked out for abusive behavior, for, you know, causing like team team damage and like trolling their team. There is no sort of system to deal with that. Now, currently in Siege, that like Siege, like I said, that is the case. But you've got to think, oh, like, what they need to do is take a system that is in other games. So maybe like CSGO or Overwatch, there is a report button specifically designed for certain scenarios. So if you think a person is cheating, you can say, right, I think this person has aim or walls. Then if there's somebody being abusive and toxic in chat, you can report them specifically for that. And I think Ubisoft needs to implement this system into Siege because very recently um, there has been a lot more kind of bullshit with like people just being abusive in chat. Now an example of this is when I came across some of the saltiest players I've ever seen in Siege. I mean these guys got so angry for, for, for what was pretty much like no reason at all. Um, now, I'm basically just going to walk you through this. I was playing earlier today with a couple of friends, and we were playing Siege. We were in casual, we were having a bit of a laugh, having a bit of a chat, you know, just, just having a bit of fun. And while we were playing, we came across a group of players who, with no, like, like I can't, not without sugarcoating this, they were the most bigoted, ignorant idiots I've ever come across in my time at Siege. Basically, what happened was, we played out the first round, and I think we came down to like a, it was like a 4v2. And then we lost the round. We, we got wiped out. We went down to, I think it was a 2v, like 2 to 0. Um, and they won the round. But after they won the round, they then started getting abusive towards us in chat. And it wasn't even like, it wasn't even like things like, oh, we beat you. It was things that were really odd. So like I was uh, a Valkyrie, I went up the stairs, I happened to get a kill on one of his teammates, and then uh, I shot the gla uh, their glass a couple of times and he killed me. And then for some reason that glass was like, oh, learn to use stairs, you stupid fucking Valkyrie player. You're absolutely shit. And I was like, all right, that was a, that was a bit out of left field. I hadn't said anything to you, I hadn't spoken to you. And he was, he was having this really aggressive like attitude towards me. And then throughout the rest of the game, this type of behavior just continued. It got worse and worse. And the issue with Siege is there is no specific reporting button for that. I just had to hit report for suspicious behavior and hope that Ubisoft review him and say, you know what, yes, we don't like the type of person he is. We don't like his attitude and the way he's acting. But with the way it is, I don't know if that's ever going to happen because report suspicious behavior encompasses so many different things and like i said i mean the chat in that game it, it got so bad i mean the guy at one point was saying things that weren't even relevant he was saying things to me like oh the irish have no honor and i was like that's not related to anything going on here you know um but like i like i said i couldn't specifically report him for that um now i did obviously you know report him like for suspicious behavior 
in the hopes that somebody at Ubisoft will review him and see his behaviour was unacceptable. But realistically, the odds on that happening are slim to none, in my opinion. I just I don't see it happening. So I think maybe Ubisoft should maybe implement a better report system. Because at the minute, let's be honest, they seem to be more focused on bringing out content, bringing out things for money, and they don't seem to be wanting to improve the quality of life for their game. Recently, we've had lots of issues with netcode. We still really, really do. We've also had a lot of issues with ping abusers. Again, they've not really fixed that. And we also have an abusive community, and this community hasn't gone anywhere. It's been here for quite some time, and it's only gotten bigger in the sense of the amount of people that are being toxic. And Ubisoft haven't addressed this. They haven't brought in systems to deal with this. They've essentially just brushed it under the rug to sort of have other aspects of their game changed. And to me, it's it's not a great system. Because you have to think, Ubisoft have said they want to make this game the game that they're going to support for like the next 10 years. They want to bring out at least 100, like to have 100, like, well, no. They want to have at least 50 operators minimum, if not 100 operators minimum in Siege. They don't plan on bringing out a Siege 2. It's just going to expand this game. And if they're going to be doing those sorts of things, realistically, they need to start making quality of life improvements to things like the community, the report buttons, and stuff like that. They need to be making changes like that now. They need to stem the issue before it gets worse. Because if it gets worse, my god, you cannot stop it. It's things like, if you look at CSGO, like the Counter-Strike um, like community, as a whole, that is exceptionally toxic. And Valve kind of let that get out of hand. It hasn't been improved. And it's a bit late now to improve it because it's just so badly ingrained into that community. They're just like, oh yeah, people being abusive and racist. Oh, we're used to that. You know, it happens all the time. And there's a case of you shouldn't have to get used to it. Used to it, rather. You should have to... Like, it should be dealt with by the developers because, you know, that is something that is in their game. I mean, like I said, Overwatch is a fairly new game. You know, it came out a little bit after Siege. And they have immediately gone, quality of life-wise, okay, if somebody's being abusive, you can report them for that, and we will deal with them. And I think Ubisoft need to step up their game, at least in this regard, because it needs to be improved no end. Because if it isn't, I can see the community becoming very, very unfriendly, horrible, and just bad in general. And one of the worst things about Siege is, if you come into that community as a new player, you don't feel welcome, you don't feel... Like you've been greeted by somebody who you want to be greeted by. I mean, a friend of mine who's only recently started playing the game, he was playing Terrorist Hunt. And at the end of the Terrorist Hunt, he was team killed by one of the guys in his team. He just went, he just killed him and went, you suck. And to me, that was ridiculous. Why, like, how is that a community thing that we can, we are allowing to, to sort of go on? And it's things like if you watch Terrorist Hunt again, other players do the same thing. They'll say things like, oh, I'm going to kill you guys at the end of the round. And it's like, why are you doing that? And the issue is, at the minute, is that Terrorist Hunt is sort of the place to get the mechanics down for Siege. Once you've done the situations, I've known quite a lot of new players who have sort of gone, okay, I'm going to do some Terrorist Hunt just to generally learn the basics, the map layouts, those sorts of things. And the issue is they come across these types of toxic players and there's no way that they can deal with them. They can report them for suspicious behaviour, but at the end of the day, that doesn't really do much. So again, it's one of those things that Ubisoft should then have a button that's report for griefing. And then maybe, you know, they would then deal with that. Or it's something like, um, like the other day, I was playing a game and there was a Kavera. And as I was starting the game, the Kavera shot me with her Lusion pistol and I went down to literally one HP. Um, she didn't team kill me. But I was at 1 HP. So anything, pretty much anything at all could kill me. And I died pretty quickly during that round. The issue is there is that all she lost during that was a couple of points for doing team damage. Nothing else. She wasn't done for team killing because technically she didn't kill me. You know, she wasn't like dealt any kind of negative stigma because she didn't kill me. And I think that's one of the issues with Siege is that there is not enough of a comprehensive report system to deal with these types of players. And I think it needs to be implemented, at least to some degree, because if it doesn't, I can just see things getting so much worse as the community keeps growing. But you know, that's just my opinion with regards to this sort of stuff. 
Um, but now I kind of want to hear your guys' opinions. What do you think to the community and the current report system? Do you think it needs improving or do you think it's fine as is? Also, what do you think to the community in general? How often have you guys come across people that are abusing like certain things in Siege that maybe the report button won't deal with? Um, like I said, let me know your thoughts and your like sort of uh, interactions with these types of people in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys to know that it's not just me. And also, you know, if I get enough sort of people commenting that sort of stuff, I'll probably end up throwing up this video on the forums of uh, Ubisoft and saying, look, a lot of people are suffering from this. Can you guys at least look into considering adding in a better reporting system? But other than that, guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Obviously, if you have, feel free to smash that like button. It helps the video out. Also, if you enjoyed my content, feel free to subscribe. I make regular videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.